Okay? Now, start with, uh, read your instructions first. Be clear on your instructions. Every time you sit down, you, be, you want to be clear on your instructions first, okay? All right, so read those out loud for me. Write a math sentence for each word problem. Then write the picture that shows the math sentence. The first one is done for you. Josh has six pens um, in his backpack and five pencils. How many um, how many writing utensils does he have in all? That should be real easy. Yeah, I'll just do points for the. Mm -hmm. That's good. The key to this, okay, I, I know you're looking at your. Because your brain juices it. <laughs> but the key to this is following instructions, okay? You're doing very well. Exceptional, exceptional. There's a whole lot of points, huh? Okay, read the next one. There are six slices of pizza in the pizza. And Dan eats two slices. How many pizzas, how many, many slices are left? Okay, how, what property are you working with? Mm, subtraction. Okay. Even though it's right there for you, that particular portion is right there for you, okay? I need you to always identify that, okay? Even though the work is there for you, always identify what property you need to be working with. Okay, for practical purposes, let's just move away from doing all the drawings. We we know, you know, you know how to draw the six and all that stuff. Okay, let's move to the next question. Twelve balloons are flying high in the sky. And three float down. How many are in the sky? In the sky? Are you sure? Mm hmm Cause I can tell cause I would put the three by but in the back of the two mm -hmm. and I would do like three like that so it would have to be low. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. Let's go ahead and do let's do the math on paper. Write out your twelve and your three. You're close. But not quite yet. Now put your three in the ones place. Put your three in your ones place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now can you subtract? Can you subtract that? No. All right. So we're gonna have to borrow right. from the ten. Now this is what's important here. Okay. This is what's really important. When you borrow from the ten space, it's only a one. Okay. So when you take that away, what does it leave you? What two? No, 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 no. You borrow from the ten space. There's only one in the 10 space, okay? So you mark this out, all right? 
We mark this mm -hmm. out. This makes us a zero now. All right? So now this is 12 minus 3. Okay? No, this is 13. Um, okay, I'm kind of getting like. And then, like, I get count the get the same number. Okay, no, because because you you still want to subtract, you still want to subtract um, two from three. So we're going. A three from two, but you can't subtract two from three. So we have to add. Um, so let's do it this way, okay? Since you're taking away this ten, okay, and making this a twelve minus three, okay. Let's go from. Let's subtract, okay? Let's count backwards, okay? Can we do that? Mm. Let's start with 12, right? But we're only going to take 3 away, all right? Mm. So 12 is the first one. What's next? Um, 11. Mm-hmm. 10. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, not 12 is not the first one. We're going to go. We subtract. We're going backwards. Okay, so there's 12. Okay, there's 11. Um, 10, no. 9. Uh, so it's 19. No, no, no. Listen, remember? We took away the 10, okay? I know in school they probably said, okay, well, you put a 1 here and the 1 here, this makes a 0. Okay? Is that what they showed you in school? Mm, well, I can't actually remember because it's been a while. I haven't been... Um, you haven't done this? Okay, okay. Well, that's okay. Okay, so it can't be, it can't be 19 because you're taking 3 away from 12, mm -hmm. right? Because we're not all the way up to 19 yet. So you're only taking 3 away from 12, okay? So if you had 12, what if we were taking away 2 from 12? What would that give us? Mm, that would give us... If you had 12 and you're only taking away 2. Huh? Very good. Okay. Now you have 12 and now you take it away 3. What do you have now? Hmm. 13? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. No, just think about it. It's okay. You have 12, right? And we're going to take away 1. What does that give me? Taking one away from twelve, yeah. okay. But you have twelve, and we're taking away one. So what's my answer? Mm, Eleven. Very good. Okay. We have twelve, and now we're taking away two. What does that give me? Mm, zero. There's a zero here, All right? And I still have my number in my ten places. So makes it ten. Yeah. Okay, so I have 12, now I'm taking away 3. So 12 minus 1 is 11. Oh, I get it, it's 9. Very good, give me a little bit. Bam! It's like going in a pattern, like 9, 10, 11. Exactly, very, very good. Okay, so let's get our answer, right? So 12, you gotta fix this here. So what we have to do, okay, when you have a problem that you don't know when you're trying to do the math, okay, go back to what you know, okay? Go to what you know, All right? So you say, wait a minute, 12 minus 4, I don't know what that is. But you do know what 12 minus 1 is, right? You do know what 12 minus 2 is, so you just start working like that until you get to what you know, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Let's go to this one. Wait, what? Oh, Amy has um, eight more books than Luck. Lucky, well, Lucky has six books. How many books does Amy have? Okay. 
Read that again for me. Mm, Amy has eight books. Mm -mm -mm. See, we skipped eight more. Eight more. So what do you think we're going to use in terms? If this wasn't written out for you, and I know it's here for you, okay? It's important that we understand what property we're working with. So if you hear more, okay? You have to understand what property we're working with. So Amy has eight more books than Lucy. Okay? Mm -hmm. She has eight more books than Lucy. Lucy has six books. Mm -hmm. How many books does Amy have? Mm -hmm. 14. Very good. Because I remember this site, because on extra math, I remember it put, it had like a seven plus six, mm -hmm. then like, it kind of went up like a plus six. Mm -hmm. And like, now I, like, now I could remember that. Good. So you went back to what you knew. Mm -hmm. Very good. Give me a little bit more. Bam! Bam! All right. Let's do this last one here. Um, the puppies had eight bones. He buried a few. There are two left. How many, how many did he bury? Eight. Very good. Exceptional, exceptional, exceptional. Okay? So, now remember, when you're dealing with word problems, okay, it's important that, one, we understand what properties we're dealing with, addition or subtraction, right? Mm -hmm. You have to identify that first. After you read the problem, then you want to find out what are they looking for. Okay? That's really, really important. And they're going to give you clues to what properties you're working with by giving you words like total, different, more than, or less than, okay? And when you, when you understand those things, okay, word problems become easy, all right? But it's really important, as soon as you read it, okay, understand the properties that you're working with first. All right, we did an outstanding job today. Out, out, freaking standing. Listen, you hear that? <laughs> Yeah. That's the brain juices. Those brain juices are flowing, boy! Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit more. I'm proud of you. Good job.